my Missouri's coach complimented you and Chobe for kind of being what caused them problems in the second half with the lineup that Coach Barnes elected to roll with. Why do you feel like you and Chobe were able to have success and, and give Missouri problems? Um, I feel like we were relentless on the offense and defensive end. Um, I mean, I, I feel like I did a little bit, you know, offensively and defensively, but I feel like Tobe was obviously a huge problem on the glass. He was going in there. He's a strong, strong guy, man. It's tough to, even if you focus on blocking him out, it's tough to block out. And he was finishing, you know, it, it, he was finishing inside, um, creating just somebody that you have to think about offensively when you drive to the basket. So. Um, I think just from that aspect, he was he was huge on both ends of the floor. Javon, for a coach that you know, just had his team lose a heartbreaker like that, Coach Morris was pretty upbeat and positive. Talking about the game, what was in your thoughts? What was he like in the locker room? What was the message? Um, I think he, he knew that, you know, this is one game, man. This is one game. It's a long rest of the season. Like, trust me, it's a lot more games than we can play. Um, and I think he knows that. And I think. The way we ended the game, despite you know the tough shot that he hit, he knew that this was a positive, and this is something that we can bring, you know, through every game. And I think he, he was saying that in the locker room to us, and I think that's what he was thinking in his head when he was coming in, in here, that you know we can take this uh, as a positive, even though this hurts. Just the stuff that we were in, we can take it as a positive. Jamal, what was it like seeing Tyreek? what you did in the second half. I mean, it's been a while since you've kind of seen that exact version of him. Uh, it was great, man. This is what we we know that he can do. Um, and we know that he, he's important to us. You know, so is everybody on the team. And I, you know, you can't can't describe how, how he was, you know, during that game. And we were just trying to feed him the ball, just trying to create offense, just get us, get us going. But, you know, he does what he – He's been working on you know his whole life, and he, it, it comes natural to him. So I'm just glad, glad he's playing, how he's playing. That he's going to continue to play like that. What you guys learn about this team being down 17 with 17 left and, and doing what you did the rest of the way? We learned that you know we 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 can fight. We don't quit ever. You know, despite the numbers that you see on the on the scoreboard, they, they don't mean anything. And if you come in, you know. With, with a mindset like that, just know that we're going to play hard. Forty minutes, we, we know we can accomplish, man. Through every game, we have to come to that grit and that fight because you can hit shots, you're going to miss shots. The opponent's going to do the same thing, but if you come out and, and you play with intensity, you play with heart, you play with drive, there's no limit to what this team, this team, can do. Jemai, what was Missouri? I mean, you've been so good defensively, especially against the three-pointer. What was Missouri able to do tonight that other teams haven't been able to do? Hit tough shots, man. They were hitting tough shots, and defensively, you know, we were we of course we made some mistakes defensively. Every team does, and we're gonna look at the film and, and try to correct that. But we, you know, they were hitting tough shots. They were hitting great shots. And shout out to them because I know they work on their game. And I know that how hard they practice and, and stuff like that. But you know, they were hitting tough shots. They were making good, you know, drives to the basket, good kicks, good post-ups, great passes on post-entry. So, you know, shout out to them. They were making some tough shots. I think that was the difference. Jeremiah, uh, Rick Barnes told us during the presser that he feels for Santiago as he being missed in the free throws. What do you say as his team, as his teammate to him after a game like that where he misses a clutch free throw? <laughs> we, don't, we don't get into this game without Santi at all. We have no chance, no shot. Just what his communication off the court, and which even fans, you know, don't see. We don't get into this game without him, man. He, he, the way he was shooting the ball, the way he was driving the ball, the way he kept us in the game. I can care less about the free throws, man. Even the free throws before that he hit, you know, I, I can care less about the free throws, and I made sure to tell him that, and to, you know, make that known to the whole team. And I think we're all on the same page. You know, of course, Santi's a competitor. He, he's, you know, thinking about it, but we know that we have no chance of being in this game without him. So he, he knows that, we know that as a team. Is it challenging to keep it in perspective? That this, this is just one game and this is just one week? One more time. Was, is it challenging to keep that in the perspective? Yeah, uh, of course, you know, 
everybody, you know, everybody hates to lose, you know, especially, especially me, man. Uh, everybody hates to lose. But we know moving forward that games like this, you know, moments like this, it's what builds our character moving forward. And this is what's going to drive us and take us and catapult us to the next level moving forward. We have tough games for the rest of the SEC. And we, have a, we still have a long season ahead of us in my opinion. We still have a lot of games left. So if, if we have to sacrifice this game and, and the tough shot that he hit and the controversy that we had to, to get through to build us up for the end, then, you know, so be it. And it's going to be challenging, but we can get through it. Um, a lot of times um, when uh, players match up against another great player, they'll say something like, um, I'm better after that. I've learned a lot from uh, the game, from uh, matching up with this player. Do uh, you have any words on uh, Kobe Brown and uh, how you play over the day, like how much you learned from after this game? Man, he's a, he's, a, he's a great player, man. He's a great player. Um, you can tell he uses his body extremely well. Um, it was tough because he knew how to match up on depending on the defender that he was going against. And, you know, towards the second half, I know I was guarding him a lot, um, trying to do whatever I can. But, man, he, he, he knows how to use his body. And, you know, he actually has a, a, a nice first step going to the rim. Um, and, and he has great touch around the rim. His jump shot is nice. So, you know, he's an all-around player. And, and he's tough guarding guys like that. But we just had to make it tough on him. But, he, he you know, he's a great player, had a great game. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Thank you.